It's Rose from Patient Therapies. We are going to make homemade hummus today. In a previous video, I showed you how to crush fresh garlic, and that is part, it's one of the essential ingredients in homemade hummus. And once you learn how to make homemade hummus, you're going to be hard pressed to spend three, four dollars for a tiny tub of it at the store. So, what you need for hummus is chickpeas olive oil, garlic, tahini, uh, a few spices, and let me show you how it goes. Here we have our ingredients, the chickpeas. I have a jar of it already open and you can see it's full of this liquid here. Now you can see that some of the liquid got a lot of foam in it and that means that there's a lot of protein in it. So here's a hack for vegans. You can make vegan waffles and use chickpea liquid as an egg white substitute. We will do that video in the future. Now I have some chickpeas and yes, there's still a little liquid in there, but the recipe calls for a quarter cup of chickpea liquid. We need a tablespoon of tahini. Usually tahini settles, so be advised you're going to need to stir your tahini to make sure it's well combined before you take any out and put it in there. Of course we have our garlic press. They also want the juice of a fresh lemon. Let's add some spices. except for the olive oil. Or you can just pour it in if you've got a good eye for it. The nice thing about hummus is that it's very versatile and you can add or subtract the ingredients without really too much impact. Let's put the lid on. And when you're mixing hummus, start at a low speed. So let me show you how I add some flavor to it to serve it up. Olive oil, a dash of paprika, a few sprigs of parsley. I'm going to go enjoy some hummus. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and until next time, remember, be kind to yourself.